Hello guys and welcome to today's video. You are going to need a sharp pencil for this one and you're also going to need a tub of marmalade because today we are going to be drawing Paddington Bear. So to start with Mr Bear, I am going to sketch out his head which is just going to be a circle, just a rough one like so. And then I'm going to do his body as well. So it's all about making shapes. So it looks a bit like this. So just a rough idea at the moment. And then I'm going to do one arm going up and then another one going down and then two legs here because he's going to be waving his hat and holding a briefcase. So as you can see, what I have done is shaped Paddington's arms and legs on one side and then I'm going to show you how to do it on the other. So it's almost going to be like a mirror of this one and I'm following the lines that I have drawn. It's giving me a guidance. So I'm going to take this one down up to there and then curve this one round as well and then put it in at the bottom. Then I'm going to do the same as I did here, give him a little foot as if he's stepping out. You can probably hear my dog barking. And then at the top here, where his hand is up to be waving, I'm going to start here and pull that up. And then I'm going to add a paw. So this is just a rough idea at the moment, a rough sketch. And then I'm going to show you how to do the face. Okay, so for the face, what we are going to do is sketch out a cross. So just to give us a rough idea of where we want the eyes, nose and mouth to go. So just above halfway of this circle, I'm just going to draw a line going across like that. And I'm going to do another one, splitting the face in half. And there's a slight curve in it because I'm going to have Paddington looking that way. It's really important when you're drawing to do it very lightly so then it's easier to rub out because I'm always making corrections and it would be even harder if I did it really hard in pencil. So I'm going to add in his hat now. It's just going to go up here, his classic hat. So that's what he's going to be waving in the air. So I'm just doing the top part and then the kind of outer edges so that's the hat done and now I'm going to do his suitcase so we've got a little bit of 3d perspective going on here so what I'm going to do is two lines facing out like that and then I'm going to join it up and then the same here it's going to make it a little bit longer so I've got a off centered rectangle and then I'm going to pull these lines down here. The one at the back is going to be shorter, make these ones longer, and then I'm going to join this one up and then across there. So we're now going to go in and put on the features. So I'm going to start on this line going across here and I'm going to draw an almond shape like that, just roughly because I can always change it when I get back to it. And I'm going to do a, another one on this side. So that's Paddington's eyes. And then coming down to about here, just a little bit below the eyes, I'm going to draw his nose. Now he has a bare nose. So this one that kind of looks like that. And then I'm going to draw his smile. So you can, you can draw a smile how you like, but it's just a little cheeky one. The picture I have, he's just kind of smiling like that. And in the new version of Paddington, he has this marking going around his nose so it starts about here I'm doing this very faintly because then I can change it and it goes around here so it just goes around his mouth and nose it's almost like a little little beard and then I go around here as well so I'm just going to smarten that up so all I did there was add in the pupils and I just made things look a little bit nicer so I just refined the shape a little bit and what we're going to do now is around the outside of his head we are going to do some squiggly motion so to give the impression of fur so something a little bit like this just going around the outside of his face. <laughs> So now that we've done the texture on his face, we are going to start on his coat. So I'm going to start on his arms and I'm going to give him a sleeve. So I'm going to pop a triangle on the outside here, it looks a little bit funny, but then I'm going to take it round and join it up to the top part of his arm. 
and then I'm going to draw a line almost parallel to this one coming down to him here and then we are going to do his raincoat on his body so I'm going to take it down to about here pull it across so it's just above here do the same on this side take it down and then we're going to do the same thing here so thicken his arms out a little bit taking it down here and then padding out his shoulder okay now I'm going to do the opening to his jacket so this is just a rough idea at the moment so just something like that so as you can see all I've done is rubbed out all of the lines on the inside of his jacket and what I'm going to do now is do some details on it so his pockets and his buttons on his duffel coat and then I'm going to do some on his hat as well so I'm going to do this part super speedy but feel free to stop it or slow it down at any point and I'll catch you on the flip side do now is going to give him some furry legs so just like we did with his head just very lightly it's like bits of fur coming down and then I'm going to do that on his paws as well so guys having looked him over I think we have ourselves a Paddington bear so I'm going to take some colouring pencils and I'm going to colour him just like he is in the new films. Okay so all I'm going to do is start with a light brown and just do some gentle strokes around Paddington's face so just gentle little strokes like that and I'm going to apply the same technique throughout anything that's his fur. So I'm just checking in to see how you're all doing. So like I'm going to show you now, I am using a darker brown around the edges. So that helps give a 3D effect. So like I said on my other video, drawing the dandelion, when you do the edges, if you make them darker, you give a sense of round, so 3D. So that's what I'm doing. And it's just, I'm just taking my time, just taking my time little strokes to build up that fur and that texture and then I've got one more leg to do and then I'm going to start on his coat, hat and suitcase. So guys, I think this is Paddington done. Now this was super fun to do. And as you can see, all I've done is I went in with a dark blue in the dark shadowy areas and then a lighter blue over the top. And then I did a white just to add in some highlights. But you don't have to do that. It can be absolutely perfect, just normal blue and red and then the color of the suitcase. But that is our Paddington done and he's super cute. I cannot wait to see your versions of him. He was so fun to do and I love the bright colours. 
So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.